rock star cartoonist by Michael Lyons. I watch the ripples change in size, but never leave the stream of warm impermanence. So the days flow through my eyes, but still the days seem the same, just the same, quite the same. Changes. David Bowie. Rockstar Cartoonist by Michael Lyons. January 28th, 1967. The angels got together and decided to create a dream come true. Have a nice reincarnation, Michelangelo. I mean, Michael Lyons. See you in 94 years. Okay, Mrs. Lyons, push. Grrr. Feels like taking a shit. My mother feels so good afterwards that they wheel her out into the hallway so she can have a cigarette with my dad. Nineteen sixty-eight. I don't remember. I can't recall. I've got no memory of anything at all. I honestly have no recollection of this year. My theory is aliens abducted me and erased my memory. I know. Let's do experiments on him, then erase his memory. That's a great idea, Stephen. Yeah, let's start doing that to everyone we abduct. Nice thinking, son. Either that, or I just wasn't paying attention. Nineteen sixty-nine. Where have all the flowers gone? Dad moves the family back to the res. In some ways, the sixties end for me this winter. Oh sure. I go on to wear the bell-bottom pants and high-collared shirts of the counterculture, but my hippie ideals are never quite the same. Peace. 1970. There's a feeling I get when I look to the West. My father is a dreamer and a gambler. In search of a better life, he packs up the clan and moves us from a small town in northern Minnesota to a small town in northern North Dakota. Welcome to Langdon, population 984. Are we there yet? Yep. My dog's name is Fang. Nineteen seventy two home where my thoughts are escaping home where my music's playing Somehow we're back in Minnesota this time. We're living in a log cabin at my grandparents resort There's a huge yellow school bus crashing through the low-hanging pine trees to pick up my brother Scott gets all kinds of praise for being a big kid a big schoolboy now I decide wearing a belt on the outside of my shirt looks cool. For Christmas, I get a red and white teddy bear and name him Little Cutie. 1973, Rebel Rebel, how could they know? My mom is young and hip and has let her hair grow out, or has let my hair grow out. Apparently, she is the only hip mom in town. Are you a boy or a girl? Um, I notice every other boy in the room has a crew cut. I don't remember actually whipping it out that day, but the matter is settled somehow, and my new friend David knows where my brown skin ends. Class, did you know Michael is part Indian? And I know what part. 90 isn't like any girl I've ever known before. She has yellow hair and isn't a relative. 
When Mrs. Haley leaves the room, Andy takes over the class. A S spells as. Add an S and what do you get? <gasps> Nineteen seventy four. Never loved, never thought you could. Treat you right. Girl, you know I would. First grade. Our teacher is Mrs. Fanflick. She's not as pretty as Mrs. Haley, but she plays guitar and sings cool songs like Puff the Magic Dragon and Leaving on a Jet Plane. I like her. Later on, Mrs. Fanflick will play bass for my dad's band. Little Jackie Paper, love that rascal puff. This year, I leave little cutie at home when I go to school. David and I fight over Andy Lundahl's affections, but just because it's fun. She's my girlfriend. Boys, boys, no, she's mine. Nineteen seventy-five. So kiss me and smile for me. Tell me that you'll wait for me. Hold me like you'll never let me go. Andy Lundahl, Lundahl moves away and my heart breaks for the first time. 